This video is about installing keyboard keys in a Biogram 4000. They sometimes come off and so I'm showing how to use my installation tools to put these uh, keyboard keys back uh, where they belong. For more information please visit my blog at biolover.dogsport.com or go to my website at www.biolover.com. Alright, let's do it. Here you see the keypad of a Biogram 4000 as it should look like. So all the keys are flush with the surrounding aluminum uh, plates. So let me show you first how to take out these uh, keys. Unfortunately sometimes they come out by themselves because as you will see now they are not attached other than by springs that hold them down. And so let's have a look now. So I protected the plinth with some tape here and you see now just by lifting them up they come off. And so here now there are these springs that hold the uh, keys in place. So that's, that's all that holds them down and so it's no surprise that um, they can come off sometimes when the uh, turntable is uh, transported etc. Before I will show you how to put the uh, keys back in, let's protect the surrounding areas also with tape. It's uh, very easily done that you make a nick here into these uh, sharp aluminum edges and so it's good to protect them a little bit before going about um, working on these beautiful turntables. Here you see the task at hand. What we need to achieve now is to get these springs again inserted into these grooves that are machined into the aluminum keys. And of course, since this is turned around while we do it, this can be a little bit tricky. So typically what one does is use a screwdriver to go in through these gaps here and then push the um, springs up and then try to get the uh, keypad on top while the spring is bent upwards and so the distance between this end and this end is shorter. Right? Imagine if this here is bent into a U and then one can uh, pop it into the uh, grooves here. Now I designed some special tools to uh, simplify this. This here shows the uh, two tools that I designed. They are 3D printed. So the one that says top here that goes in from this side and the one here that is supposed to slide in here and push this end of the uh, spring up. The top tool is designed that it fits into the uh, groove. You see that here it slides in. Okay let's put the tools in. So you use the uh, top tool to lift up the spring and then put the other part under. And so you see by pulling it forth and back I can lift up the end of the spring here and slide it back down. And so the other end is lifted up by the top tool itself. And so the important part here is, is that you can actually see the side that is labeled and that it is centered here between the two ends of the uh, spring. And now we're ready to put in the first key. And so the process is fairly simple. We we'll just press down on the uh, end of the top tool and thereby we uh, lift up the end of the spring here. And once it's high enough we can put the key on the top tool that its groove uh, ca uh, catches on the uh, end of the uh, tool here. And then we simply hang the um, a key on the end of this spring so that the uh, tabs here go into the groove that is underneath the key. Once that is accomplished we can remove this tool and then we use the lower tool here to uh, lift up this end of the spring and once it's high enough that the distance here is short enough between the two ends of the keys we can let this then carefully this end carefully slide into the groove on the other side of the key and then we extract this tool and then the key is installed. So let's have a look. So first now the upper end so press down until the tabs here are high enough and then simply uh, lower the key on there and extract the tool. And that's the first part. And now we're ready to do the other end of the key. So in this position now the spring is actually below the groove that is underneath here and so we need to now push the spring up that it can 
uh, make it across the threshold here and make it inside the uh, a groove. And that we do by simply pushing this tool now in. Remember when I push it in, then the spring is lifted up. And once we, once you can feel that the uh, spring is catching, then carefully extract the tool. And so this is what we see here now. So first I push it in until I can feel that it's catching. Yeah, now, and so now I lift up the pad a little bit and extract the tool, and so this is it. And now it is seated. Now, I practiced this a few times before the video, so believe me, it did not work as well the first time I did it. But I think if you do this two or three times, then I think you get the hang of it, and um, it should be fairly easy to get this uh, big key back in. And now we do exactly the same for the uh, on-off key. So I already put that tool in and now the one on top. And we're ready to get the second key in. And now we can put in the uh, key. So exactly the same procedure. Lift up the spring, hang the uh, upper end of the key on the spring, extract the tool, and now it's time to uh, get out the uh, lower tool. First we push it in a little bit, lift up the spring, and when it catches, then hold it up a little and extract the tool. And that's it. On, off. And now we can remove the tape and give the keys a test. And so this feels all good. And important is, of course, also that the keys are flush. And that's it. Now you know how to put in those keys in case they come off. This concludes my video about installing the uh, keyboard keys in a Biogram 4000. If you're interested in getting my uh, special tools here, um, they are available like all the parts that I create. Just uh, use the contact form on my blog or send me an email. and. Um, I can put them in the mail to you. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.